challenge for today is to turn a box into 10 useful things. So I ordered this box online. It's supposed to be a bunch of glasses. Opened it up in nothing but shattered glass. I can't do anything with that hot mess, but I sure can use that box. A box is a great do-it-yourself project for kids, and I got plenty of time on my hands. Kids want to know, what makes a box so strong, so durable? They're really amazing designs. Let's take a look. A simple box, cardboard, is made of typically two thin sheets and a series of wedges in between. Tiny little ridges that help keep the box strong. It's important because cardboard is a much better building tool and designing tool than paper. So we're going to start with cardboard. Grab any old box, single layer, double layer, doesn't really matter. Now your kids are super interested in what's inside a box. They may never, never have opened one before. It's a good idea before you begin just to pull it apart so they can see what's on the inside. You can talk to them about those ridges and how they're supporting the box. Now that we've seen inside a box, let's take a little small box that I found around the house. Let's make it into something. Let's open that box right on up. Look inside, you'll probably see a couple of layers just like this one. The cardboard will be firm. On the inside, there's some corrugated pieces. And we just want to remove that flap because that flap is going to help us to design our first project. A picture frame. Take a pair of scissors, any old pair, child say scissors, scissors are just fine, and cut that flap right on off. We don't need that for right now because that's going to turn into our picture frame. Now that we have that wonderful flap, let's see a little bit of duct tape. If you have some colorful duct tape at home, that'd be great. All I had was black, so that worked just fine. And you want to cover up all pieces of the picture frame, except for where you're going to place the picture. A three by five image is just fine. You can also use a, a smaller or larger image, depending on the size of your box. And the idea is we want to make the box look like it has a real edge. That's what the tape is for. Place your picture, childhood memory, something with you and your kids right in the middle. Your kids won't even know the difference. You can hang it on your wall and people will say, where did you get that beautiful frame from? a way to make a coaster out of that box. Just find a small scrap of the box. Cut a shape out, turn it into a circle. And we're going to use that circle and remove the friction between your glass and the table. That's what a coaster does. It allows for glass to slide across tables without too much friction. A little piece of duct tape is all you really need. Slide it across the bottom and there you go. We got a coaster to separate our cool drink from the tape, made from a box.
that same utility box can be converted to a coin calendar to help your kids learn the difference between different types of money. Like one slot is for pennies, another for dimes, and another for quarters. And that way kids will know the difference between the money that they're using. If they're older, they can just turn it into a piggy bank or just some form of cash machine. A little bit of duct tape to give it some decorative feel. And now you have your own coin-operated toy for kids. Super fun. A box is not a box to a child. You can imagine it is just about anything. So we're going to turn that old utility box, that coin box, into a house. Add a small chimney out of cardboard. Take your scissors and just cut out a couple of holes for some windows. Even make a door. Give the box to kids and they will literally play with it. At least kids are the age of eight. Nine and ten year olds are a little bit too cool for that. But what I'll tell you is they'll enjoy the project. You can turn that box into an imagination house that they'll be able to play with in your living room for hours and hours. For our last three projects, we'll make them quick. We're going to make a door wedge that you can actually stop a door. It's just a piece of cardboard cut into a small triangle and rubber bands as stoppers so it won't slide as easily across the floor. Super easy project. Next up, we'll take that same wedge and turn it into a scale, or what a younger child would call a seesaw. Notice this one is balanced. We're measuring two little blocks on either end. And the seesaw actually moves and the measuring scale works. Our tenth and final project is take a huge box, a nice big old box, and just turn it into your own canvas. You can make a map, you can make a floor mat, you can also use it to just paint. But kids love boxes. They cost nothing and they're fun. So use that box in whatever way your child wants. There you have it. 10 projects for kids. Look at them. Playing with boxes. Cost me nothing but a little bit of time, some creativity, and some duct tape. Just watch. <laughs> it was a coaster. Now it's ice. Kids, science lab, y'all. <laughs>